Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning, afternoon, evening or night ladies and gentlemen. My name is Amar Issam Min Izwan and I am a year 6 student. Today I will be sharing my talks about the horrors of war. So let me just define what war really is. Basically it's a conflict of violence between two nations or more. So when you like get into a fight it's basically like war, but war is definitely very more catastrophic, very more destructive. And examples of that can be the ongoing Russian-Ukrainian war. Russia invaded uh, Ukraine, so meaning that Russia is probably the bad side. But a more compelling example would be World War Two. It's a war where basically every nation in the world uh, went into a fight okay and as you can imagine war is definitely very destructive very catastrophic ladies and gentlemen it's just it's not something that you really would like to be uh, experiencing of course there's going to be a lot of deaths there's and once you get captured by an enemy you either get executed or tortured by the enemy for their own good. But you can also get executed from your own side if you desert or you commit mutiny, meaning you leave the army while it's in a state of war. But of course, that's the past times. In the modern world, we don't do that anymore. We, you get drafted and you can leave once you serve some kind of service for like one or two years. So if you just push the bad side aside, the negativity, just push that aside, you can see if you dig deep down enough, there's always good sides to everything in the world. In this case, it's glory. Imagine just seeing your own country being the victor of a massive war. Of course, you'd feel sad for uh, anyone who died, but if it's from your country, you would feel very thankful that they defended the nation for you to live happy and happier in life. And some of these examples could be uh, Audie Murphy. Although he didn't die, he was the most decorated soldier of the Second World War. And fun fact, he was a teenager. He lied about his age to get into the army. So the feeling of patriotism for your country to defend cannot be expressed until you experience it yourself. You truly just, you truly feel appreciative of your life more and more if you get drafted into the war. You really just feel the expression that if I die in this, I know that I'm going to die peacefully defending my nation. And to the people who survived the war, there are some side effects to them. For Americans' Independence Day, some veterans of basically just any war who are still alive in America would warn their neighbors to not light off fireworks because it could actually bring the PTSD because the sound of bombs literally signify the same feeling of fireworks. And ladies and gentlemen, there are some veterans who are completely just unaware of this. They just love being in battle. They love the feeling of war. They just feel that patriotism. They love fireworks to be ignited. And that's fine. So before I conclude this, um, this speech, ladies and gentlemen, I would just want to say that war is definitely something bad. There are some very much disadvantages. And it could literally end humanity in just basically one second. I'm not saying that as if it's real, it's something for me to express. It's very dangerous. But of course, as I said, there is always a good side. Glory. It's just very relieving to experience. And now, I conclude the speech from me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And have a very good day, ladies and gentlemen.